This is the first haul in the new house and I can already tell there is a huge difference with filming for me as well because one of the things that I struggled with in the last house, I mean, this doesn't even matter, honestly, I don't even know why I'm saying all this. But the location of the windows and just the setup would face in a way that the background I just didn't think was like aesthetically pleasing enough for what I wanted for y'all to experience. Um, but I can actually sit in my little chair, the windows back there, it just, it's working. Also, I also figured out my camera a little bit more. So hopefully the color is a lot brighter, a lot nicer for you guys. There's a lot going on right now in the back um, in terms of the dining room but I should have the living room and the dining room pretty close to being done by the end of this week. So stay tuned, um, click your bell so that when I put out new videos, you'll get notified by YouTube um, because I'm gonna be putting out like the kitchen um, here really soon and how I decorated it, the living room, the dining room. Anyhow, it is a cold day outside here in Dallas, so I turned on the fireplace. I thought that would be soothing for you too. And I popped into two Dollar Trees, and let me show you guys what I found. Let's start off with my first store. Here's my receipt. I spent $58.75. It looks like everything was $1.25, so I'll throw up however many items that total to. I really wish the receipt would say that. Um, so, but I don't feel like I found anything overly earth shattering, but I did get some, of course, very great things because I just love this store. First thing that I noticed that is brand new are the next, the next four of the ward hunts. Dollar Tree actually puts these out very often. I would say in a one year, 12 month time frame, you get like new ones maybe six to seven months out of the year, which is a lot for Dollar Tree. So you always get new ones and you can tell by the background. At least that's how I've been able to tell. So these are definitely a new drop. These little word hunts, super cute. There's always a cup of coffee in the front. And I don't know if there's like, it says all new puzzles. It boosts your vocabulary, sharpens your memory. Um, looks like like supernatural movies. America's um, Inland Islands. So I love like all the little themes in here, super fun. Um, okay, next up, I found this really pretty bath bomb in Cherry Blossom. Very lovely. That's gonna be a great item for an Easter basket, like just in time for that. I also picked up some of these little cereal boxes. I've already talked about them just for me and kind of living alone. Yes, my daughter lives here, but in a way I kind of consider myself living alone, but like with a roommate, if you will, because she's 23 and she like takes care of herself and she does her own grocery shopping. She does her own fixing her food. So I really only like, you know, grocery shop for myself. And so I've learned that these little buckets of cereal are like the perfect portion for me. I really don't need to get like the big boxes because I also don't eat cereal all the time. This is just like a, you know, every now and again. So I got Fruit Loops and Frosted Flakes. They also have like Cheerios and Cinnamon Toast Crunch in those options. Um, then I wanted to get candy like i really have not felt myself i have not felt this excited in a really long time i i don't want to like dive into like all of that stuff but i really feel finally at peace i feel like i could be here longer than five months unlike the last house so if you didn't see that drama i'll link some videos down below for you for you to understand like this is a new house where I'm at. I've posted the empty house tour. I've posted the not chaotic empty house tour. So I'll link those down below for you. But all of this to tell you that I went to Dollar Tree and got candy for the media room. Anyways, I just haven't been this excited to like connect and want to like do those things. So I wanted to get some 
candy for the media room, but I'm gonna have to store it in the kitchen. So I'll do like, I'll insert a clip here of me organizing the candies. But I got the Warhead Chewy Bunnies. These are really fun because it's, you know, for Easter. So it's Easter themed. So I got a box of those. I got a regular box of the Sour Patch Kids. I got the Watermelon Sour Patch Kids. I got Milk Duds. I got, let's see. Um, and then this really surprised me, but Dots. There are some really interesting flavors at Dollar Tree right now with dots that you need to know about. So first we have the original, you know, love her. She's great, but I didn't know that they did watermelon. I'm sorry, what is that? Watermelon? And then we have a lemonade. I was so shocked by this. So I've never seen that before. So of course I had to get those for the media room. Um, then I got these kinds of candies. Um, the Haribo put out the all cherries. That is another huge thing I've been seeing at Dollar Tree that you guys need to know about. Haribo's been dropping or Dollar Tree has been stocking a lot more options in the Haribo gummies than I've ever seen in my 23, 24 years of shopping at Dollar Tree. So the cherries is a rare one. And then we've got the Sour Kicks, another rare one. I think I've seen it once before. Box of Raisinets. All right, moving on. Then I stopped and saw this product right here. Now this is a color for him, mustache, beard, sideburns. It's basically facial dye and it is in the color brown. I didn't see any other colors. I actually got this for my eyebrows. Now. I purchased the henna eyebrow tint from Amazon, but I've also heard that women use beard dye kit to do their eyebrows. And I wanted to just kind of experience this versus a henna formula to see which one actually lasts longer on me because this is all drawn in. <laughs> I have no eyebrows. It's, it's mostly skin. So I need to see how long the dye will last like on my actual skin there's not much hair for it to like grab onto so we're gonna give this a go i don't know um all right next up let's see i got these cute little ruffle lace socks they are for kids i did not see this in a women's version but what look how cute those are perfect time for spring easter basket all the things but also if you don't know this is a major major trend right now it's called coquette i don't know if you guys have heard of it it's basically all things girly frilly bows the things and it is trending so big right now amongst all ages so finding dollar tree putting this out i was honestly not surprised in the slightest i also found some more coquette items in the second store so stay tuned for that um so that surprised me next up i got this fragrant fragrance sachet Sachet? How do you... Can somebody tell me how to pronounce this? Because I simply don't know. I don't know. I want to say it's fragrance sachet. Sach sachet? Anyways, you get a two-pack in here. I went with coconut and citrus. So I'm thinking about putting this in my closet in my... Yeah. I'm going to be doing a video, by the way, of organizing my entire bathroom. My bathroom is... It's bad. I'm not even gonna lie to you, it is so bad just for moving in, throwing stuff everywhere. Um, but I ordered some fun things as well and I'm gonna organize it, clean it and decorate it. So stay tuned for that. Um, anyways, also for my bathroom, I found this new line of Argan products. Look how much is in this line. So this is by the brand One and Only. It's the Argan Oil. I don't know anything about this brand, so comment down below, but I have a feeling it's not as cheap as $1.25. Something's telling me I got maybe a pretty good deal, but let me know if I'm wrong. So this guy right here is for split ends. It's a split end mender. That's kind of a tongue twister. Like it's a little pump and you're probably gonna do that thing. Then I found the curl cream, which this is great because my hair is actually naturally curly and wavy. 
So I'm definitely gonna try that on the days I'm not applying heat to my hair. And then this one is a molding cream. So there's that. And then we have the coconut oil treatment. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so this is the coconut oil treatment. It is lightweight, non-greasy, um, tells you exactly how to apply it. And then the last item is a moisture repair conditioner. Yeah, I'm very excited to try all these things. So we're gonna give those a go. Um, next up, this took me back to the 90s and early 2000s because had this had shown up at Dollar Tree at that time, it would have been like a madhouse to get them. I don't know if they're still a novelty. Maybe they are, maybe they have made a comeback. I think I've still seen them at Walmart and Target. So I know they're probably still floating around, but they, they're the beanies. They're beanie babies, right? And they're the little keychain. Look how cute. Then there's a little owl, a little pink owl. And then whatever that is, what is this thing? What's this spotted little thing? Is that a bear or panda or, I don't know. This looks like a cat. And these were the only three that I found at Dollar Tree. So I thought those were amazing. Okay, then let's just get these out of the way. <laughs> In one of my last Dollar Tree hauls before I moved, I hauled these and I simply said, I'm gonna go back and get some more. I took pictures of them. And this is me going back. Actually, I didn't haul this guy. So I got the kite and let me just kind of show you. They're like really pretty. I love the big images. Um, again, for junk journaling, I just think it will be so cute. Um, I'm actually starting, like YouTube's been like recommending other videos of other YouTubers who are doing Dollar Tree hauls of like junk journal items. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can find some really great things in the store for that hobby. Um, it's just nice. It's nice to be able to not spend so much on a hobby sometimes, you know? <gasps> oh my God, I'm going back and I have to get more of these. Which one is that? The, it's the kite one. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this because I won't remember this, but I'm gonna go back and get more. Then we have this one. These are actually a bunch of different colors. They're one of my favorites. They're just really simple and pretty and vibrant. Maybe if you're not into junk journaling, it's like, what does this matter? But it's just, again, nice to find <coughs> some really bright, bold, you know, scrapbooking supplies to work with. So love that one. And then we got the little cat. I think I was supposed to get the fox and then the watermelon one. I didn't find those. Again, another one with the big images. So these are my favorites. So we got those. Then I found this book. It is called Welcome Back to Rambling, Texas. I'm just gonna read the back to you. You can skip over this if you want, unless you want me to read the drama of this book. I will do so now. Frank Bell's wanderlust had him leaving Rambling, Texas at the first opportunity to see the world and make his fortune. But when a death in the family calls Frank back, he intends to sell off the properties and leave. But of course, he immediately runs straight into the beautiful Reggie Lee Stafford, his boyhood crush slash nemesis, who is less than happy to see him. Is she? Maybe, Frank, you did something you weren't supposed to do because something tells me that you're the problem, but like, Let's see what Reggie has to say. Reggie Lee Stafford is a nester at heart. She has lived her entire life in rambling and now it's where she's raising her daughter. Reggie, whose daughter is it? Whose daughter is it, Reggie? Um, her fondish wish is to become a full-fledged reporter at the Rambling Gazette. But when Frank returns to claim his inheritance, including the newspaper, Reggie fears the worst. Seeing Reggie again makes Frank wonder if he's finally ready to commit to a home and family. But with the conflict past and present between them, he'll have to pull out all the stops if he's going to win the heart of his first love. Ooh, I got chills right now. Give us the tea, Reggie. 
Tell us, tell us about Frank's red flags. Can't wait to read that one. So that's at Dollar Tree. I picked up more of these. You've seen me haul them. There's nothing new here. I guess I got two of the Candyland and then one of the Guess Who. They have Mr. Potato Head and they have Operation as well. But they're just really cute. They're just like these little activity sheets. So they're really fun. I'm gonna use these in junk journaling. Um, okay, also speaking of, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I was gonna do like some type of formal announcement or not, but when I unpack my craft room, I'm actually going to do a massive de-stash of all my like Dollar Tree items, collection items, um, and I'm gonna be selling them in like bulk, I think, on my Etsy platform because that's where I do all of that kind of business. So if you're interested in that and maybe you wanna get your hands on my de-stash, I think that's where it's gonna go down. So stay tuned for that more of an announcement. But see, the problem is, is that I just, I, I have a thing and I'm not, I, I just, I love Dollar Tree stickers. So I'm gonna be just kind of, I don't even know what to say. I'm just gonna backtrack at this point because I'm probably digging a hole. Um, this says dad and then I found mom. I've never seen these before. Now I've seen them put out grandma, grandpa, baby so i don't know if these also released at the same time i would imagine they did but this is my first time ever seeing mom and dad so i don't know now these stickers right here are a brand new drop and they are stunning like let me let me just show you they have this like i wouldn't say steampunk but they definitely have this old world thing going on they are very much textured, but the back, like they peel off so smooth. Look how gorgeous these trims are. I got another one of these. The teacups are absolutely precious and darling. Love those. This one's probably my favorite. If you look close up to this guy, it says post. So it's like one of those like mailboxes that are attached to the front of the house. So cute. Yeah, so I guess I got doubles of all those, but sure. Then I got another one of these, but again, this... I must have like 20 of these. I don't know what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing this de-stash. I'm not well. That's all I'm going to say. When it comes to Dollar Tree stickers, it, it's my kryptonite. So if you want to get your hands on my kryptonite, coming soon. Then I got this cute little stamp set um, with, is it like a little dragon lizard? What are these called? Can you comment down below? But I actually really liked it for the little like paint items, the paint roller, the paint brush, the little heart. These are all little individual clear stamps. The second store, so we're gonna do like a face off and you guys vote and tell me I'm going to post a com two comments down in the comment section. One comment's going to say store number one, which was the one we just saw. And then the next comment is going to say store number two. Just thumbs up which store you thought was better. In store number two, I spent $47.50. Everything was $1.25. So I'll throw up however many items that was. <clears throat> so let's get into that. At this store, I found... Raisin Brand and I found Captain Crunch where I did not find this in the first one. So I'm going to add that to my little cereal. I also got more candy at this store for the movie theater drawer. So I got Mambas. I think I got two Mambas. Pretty sure. Um, I guess the other one's in another bag. And then I also got the Planters Peanuts. These are in regular salted. I hauled not a, too long ago the honey roasted. I'm on the hunt for those again because I love those. I definitely want to put the honey roasted in my movie drawer, movie candy drawer. So we got those. Let me find the other candy in this box. Yeah, here's the other Mamba. And I also found a new drop by Haribo. Never seen this before. These are, these are called Unicorn Licious. Now the thing about Haribo is every gummy has a unique taste.
taste. And so I can't wait to see like what this one tastes like. But I'm gonna hold on to it right now because I'm gonna organize it in my movie candy drawer. So there's that. I also picked up these bags of Airheads for the movie drawer as well. And is that it for the candy? Yeah, I also didn't find like any of the box M&Ms or box of like Skittles. And I thought in that paper format, I thought it'd be cheaper to just like get it at Walmart. So that's why I didn't get those, but sometimes I do, but whatever. Okay, um, let's see. In this drawer, or in this bag, I found corn trays. You get four count for $1.25. That is so great. These are so cute and would be absolutely fun to have if you're going to the lake or you're going camping or like, you know, you're doing some type of road trip where you're gonna be barbecuing or something. These would be so cute. Or you're just like doing like a an at-home picnic or a picnic in a local park. Like these are darling. Never seen those before at Dollar Tree. I also picked up some cleaning gloves. I really need to get into a better habit of using gloves when I clean, especially since I have been on this journey of trying not to put more chemicals into my body than I need to. And even like Dawn dish soap, I no longer really want to my skin to connect with personally. Um, I saw a video about there's like this um, ingredient in Dawn dish soap. I mean, listen, live your life, okay? There's no guilt, there's no nothing, live your life. I'm just talking about me personally. And that ingredient has been known to cause like stomach issues and all kinds of things. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just wear some gloves. And so these you get an eight pack. I don't know if it like can soak through this. Can somebody tell me, should I go for more of the thicker glove? But I'm thinking this would work okay, right? Um, okay, next up, I got these little treat bags. So I can't help myself. I love junk journaling with them. Look at these beautiful, bold colors for spring and summer. Yes, I want to do a whole junk journal in this color palette. So I got those. Then I found a Dollar Tree put out these mason jars, but these are slightly different. They have the measuring tool on them. And I've never seen that at Dollar Tree. Um, so we've got a large one and a small one. I think this is just so I love these. They just have so much of a farmhouse look, especially if you're like into canning as well. But these are also great for gift giving. Um, you know, you can fill them up with all kinds of things. I thought that was great. Here is the coquette items that I found at Dollar Tree that can be geared more towards the older crowd. So we've got these two scrunchies and these are the colors. This like blush pink and this cream Dollar Tree knows. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree watches trends. And then we've got these headbands, which if this isn't the most coquette thing I have ever seen in my life, let me take it off of this. Um, should I just let the camera run and you guys watch me like untwist these off? But, okay, so it's got the little bow tied at the top. I know I have my hat on. I haven't dyed my hair. You don't want to see what's under here. But I'm, I know for all of you that watch me that are uh, more on the girly side, the more like this is your style, I'm telling you the quality looks for $1.25. I'd go to Dollar Tree right now. Okay, next up, I got zip ties. Um, I actually got these. So these are the ones I'm gonna use. Micah's box spring and her frame, for whatever reason, aren't lining up right. I don't know what's going on there. It's like making her bed kind of slide around. So I thought, you know what? Let me zip tie the box spring to the frame. So that's what I'm gonna do. But while I was there, I found these and I was like, you know what? Zip ties are really good to have. It's an item that I wanna see in my junk drawer. So I'm gonna throw these in here. So we've got a mix of smaller ones, red ones. I also got a more heavy duty black one. 
They also have these in white. Everything I just showed you, they have it in a white format as well. So that's pretty amazing. Um, oh, I got this size in white. So I got a variety of sizes. Then I also picked up some um, Arm & Hammer. Yeah, I, Mike and I were talking about it. She was like rolling out her rug in her room. And I was like, oh, you need to spray some of this deodorizer. She's like, do you have any? I couldn't find any. So I made sure to pick some more up. It's just a great way to like, you can even throw this on your mattress, sprinkle it on your mattress, let it sit for like the recommended time. And it does the thing. It does the thing. Look at what I found. If you know, you know. I'm obsessed with Dollar Tree socks. That's what you need to know. And these have been my favorite. They're hard to find. They're, they don't restock them very often, at least not at my stores. And I finally found them. So they had more to choose. They had more. I, I don't know why I only got two, but I was like, I'm just, just two. So I got those. Um, I already have several of these, but I just moved and I can't find my box where I packed my batteries, these, I don't know where that box is. So I just needed to get this in the meantime, um, just to like light some stuff. Um, then I got this again. Now I already hauled this, but I'm using it for something else. And then I was like, you know what? I really like the month at a glance system with it. I probably could have just done like a different color actually. I don't know why I got it in black again, but, <clears throat> oh, it's a monthly and weekly. Wait, is this one different? This one's actually different than the last one that I hold. I just realized that. I love the interior colors, but I got this specifically to organize like certain YouTube things. Whereas the other one I'm using as like an overall, my life overall in general of like what I have going on each month. But I was like, you know what? I really love this thing. So let me get one just for YouTube. So it's just to like keep me organized because I'm running so much by myself. Sometimes I'll forget that I have an Instagram or that I have a TikTok and it, this will just kind of help me to be more accountable and to be like there and present for you guys if you're like following those accounts, you know? It's like, well, they're following me, but I need to give them the reason why they followed me in the first place. So um, this has just kind of helped me keep track of all of those other platforms. So I got that and for YouTube as well. Okay, then I picked up these stickers. This is so cute, I want another one. Not me saying that as I'm telling you I'm gonna do a de-stash, but guess what? I'll get another one eventually. And then I got these stamps because for very obvious reasons, like this is the cutest thing. So I got that. Then I got another one of these blemish patches. I actually got one not too long ago. I really liked it. I've had like several breakouts from, I don't know, the stress, the move, I don't freaking know, the change of the season. Um, and I was like, you know what? I really like it. So I wanted to get another one to put in my bathroom. Um, then I picked up this garbage disposer cleaner. I thought this looked new. So we got that. Now I have to admit, I can't tell you when this has come out. I don't know if it's been out for a year cause I have found that I don't really visit the kitchen where I at Dollar Tree very often lately but I saw these and it stopped me in my tracks. This whole little kit, it is an appetizer set. Like look, look at that, with the little forks and everything. Okay, then I got one of these sponge holders. I actually left mine at the old house. Um, I don't, I bought these before from Dollar Tree. I don't know if they work that well though. So I think my experience was that these just didn't suction well, but let me just try them again, we'll see. Then I found this Downy Rinse and Refresh. I don't, it's a liquid form. I don't know how to use it. And we're gonna end this haul from store number two with this LA Colors drop of their bubble tea. I have seen it. I haven't wanted to discuss it because I knew I was gonna be so bitter if I didn't find it myself. Remember the lemon plate fiasco? Circa 2017-ish. Um, but I found it. Now, 
only problem is I'm I couldn't get my hands on the entire collection and I'm but also beggars can't be choosers I'm just happy that I found at least one of the lip oils look at this cute drop by LA colors the little juice bar bubble tea thing this is an orange I'm like you know what I love orange this is just perfect for me and then I did find all four of the eyeshadows. This packaging is so darling. So this one, it says for cute, cute tea. Cute, like T-E-A, cutie shades. That is so cute. Uh, Oob, sh Oob Shimmer? What? what name is that? Is that like a tea or something? Oob? I don't really know, but it's purple. So cute. This one's my favorite. Peachy Shimmer. Oh yeah. We're pulling that one out. Then we've got Strawberry Shimmer. And then we have Blueberry Shimmer. Wait. This oob. There's no. Something's missing here. What's what would the purple be called that ends in U-B-E? Is it supposed to be something berry? It's got to be something berry. If you know what you think this name is supposed to be, comment and let me know. But that was all that I could find in the bubble tea. I'm just happy I found the lip oil because that's really what I wanted out of the collection were all of the lip oils. I'm still going to be on the hunt, see if I can not find, if I can't get my hands on the other ones, but that's what I could find. <clears throat> Anyways, that's it. That's my haul. Store one versus store two. Comment and let me know what you guys think. Which store was your favorite haul? I have to say if it were up to me. Dang. Um, I don't know. I would say store one had my flashcards it had the book but store two had the socks and the i'm gonna say i might go with number two maybe is my favorite but you let me know what you guys think and that's it the first haul in the new house i'm so excited again stay tuned we're gonna be decorating and i'm very excited for you guys to like see my vision for this house and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye mm -hmm.